Hi guys, it's Paul from Paul Cole Crick and it's time to turn our attention to the Vapor bats from Grey Nichols here at Uzi Sports. Hopefully you've seen the video I've done of the Alpha. Uh, this is the other new bat uh, from Grey Nichols for 2022, packed up in the bat cover that Uzi provide for free with all of their Grey Nichols bats. Uh, you might notice also there's another one behind me here in a lower grade, that's the uh, Gen 1.0 five star vapor uh, but this one is the players grade which is grade one english willow which will spend the majority of the time uh, looking on here uh, and look very very clean nice looking not the most grainy bat there's only seven grains there but pretty much blemish free a tiny bit of heartwood there and that right hander's outside edge much like we saw in the alpha incidentally um, in that video but yes if you're right-handed might travel a little bit better off that edge um uh, used to get asked that question quite a lot from customers but yeah, in terms of the vapor looks, uh, the stickers, uh, I really like this blue. Um, perhaps not as classical and stylish as, as the Alpha was. Uh, maybe not for everyone, uh, but I think, yeah, really, it's really cool looking. Um, uh, yeah. But then on the back, less cool, for, at least for me. Similar issue I had with the Alpha. It's very, very busy here. There's hardly any wood on show. Um, I do like the colour of the blue here, but I just think there's a bit too much of it, really, if I'm being completely honest, as I, I like to in these videos. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really like the backs, but I do really like the front. <laughs> in terms of the shape, it's a noticeably lower middle than the Alpha Bat, sort of a mid to low middle, I'd say, um, here. Quite a prominent swell there around that part of the blade. Really good for slow pitches, front foot play, that, that sort of thing. And what I would call a duck ling bill toe there, it's not like obvious duck bill, but a little bit there to help with the, the weight distribution. That spine doesn't run down through the toe. And big specs, really big, 39 millimeter edges, a 63 millimeter spine, and a 22 millimeter toe on this piece. And it's just two nine. Uh, and when you look that there's only very minimal concaving on it, um, so a nice wide middle, a lot of wood behind that sweet spot, uh, you know, good margin for error there if you're not quite finding the middle. That is certainly a low density bat, no question about that. Um, in terms of the pickup, obviously I've mentioned it's quite a low middle with a thick toe. Those things usually do affect the pickup a little bit, and I'll be honest, in this case that is true again. Um, it definitely doesn't have as light a pickup as the Alpha Bat for me. Uh, that said, it's reasonably balanced. It kind of feels its weight for me. So this, as I said, it's 2.9 and it, it feels 2.9 for me. Um, maybe think about adding a second grip to help with that, although the handle is reasonably thick. Um, you know, quite thick there and they've got these new traction grips. So this V design with the smart blue colour here and a semi-oval handle as well. It's a good for your top-handed player or bottom-handed player. Be yeah, a reasonably thick handle. You wouldn't necessarily need a second grip, but it would certainly make that pickup a tad lighter. Uh, but yeah, not, not too bad in terms of the pickup, all things considered. Uh, and the bow, as you can see there, quite a nice curvature. Similar really to the Alpha, curves around the mid blade, quite even. Yeah, looks nice there. Helps a bit with the pickup too. Um, in terms of the good old mallet test, let's work our way from the toe up to the base of the stickers uh, with the mallet before bouncing the ball on it. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't, my memory of Grey Nichols bats was they generally were harder than this, but um, Uzi Sports have handpicked these bats. That, that, I, I should stress that. And I, and I think sometimes, obviously, performance is a big selection criteria. And I think they, like me, generally prefer the slightly softer bats. Um, I'd say more of a medium to soft feel on, on both these Grey Nichols bats that I've reviewed so far. So I don't think they'll take long to reach peak performance. Um, sounding lovely on the ball here. Up high, down low. The ceilings are quite high here, so I'm not hitting them, but I can assure you they're still traveling a long, long way. That sounds great all over, Re really good. And as I say, yeah, definitely quite soft, so absolutely won't take long. Still recommend a little bit of knocking in. Uh, it'll only get better uh, after that. But Grey Nichols have pre-prepared the bats as they tend to, boning the edges, uh, providing this clear anti-scuff sheet, this extra text sheet there, standard, um, which I think is nice to protect the bat, but don't be fooled that it's fully knocked in. It does still need a little bit uh, of further work, uh, maybe an hour or two uh, tops. That is a service, incidentally, that Uzi Sports can provide as well, so something to, to maybe check out.
but yeah, I'll also just quickly show you again uh, this 1.05 star and sort of talk about the price difference here. So the players, obviously, as I said, grade one English Willow. Uh, this one is 359.99. Um, so it's obviously the same price as the um, other players grades across the alpha and the other the other rest of the grey nickels range. Solid price, in my opinion. Uh, and then this uh, Vapor is 269.99 in this five star grade, uh, which is grade two English Willow, incidentally. That said, this is grade two. Looks great for grade two, doesn't it? There's a 11 grains there, all sapwood. Yeah, it looks really nice, a couple of little marks, but that's why it's not a grade one, like one or two wavy grains, but yeah, very nice looking grade two. But yeah, across both grades there, I think, um, I said in the alpha video, I'll say it again, I think it's solid value for money. I think, you know, relative to other bats on the market for this year, um, it's not for everyone. It's fairly high, you know, to some degree, uh, but for what you're getting, you know, I don't think you can complain really. 359.99 for, a uh, very, very nice grade one bat. I think it's decent value for money, all things considered. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, that is the Vapor from Grey Nichols. Uh, please do stay tuned for the other videos coming soon here from Uzi Sports. Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It's a new channel. I'm doing it on my own as a hobby. I must stress I really do appreciate your support. Uh, more of these videos to come. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon.